It's the middle of August, and we're gonna be fishing in Tofino, British Columbia, which is located on the rugged west coast of Vancouver Island. Fishing with me this trip is gonna be Lance Desolate from Lance's Sport Fishing Adventures. I've had the opportunity to know Lance for about 20 years, and he's a great fisherman. Tofino is known for its awesome salmon fishing throughout the summer. But one area that I don't think gets enough credit is the spectacular bottom fishing, and that's what we're gonna focus on this trip. After a quick meeting with Lance, we decided that today was the day we were gonna go out and target some lingcod. We have a little bit of a window weather where we can sneak offshore, and Lance wants to take us to one of his favorite spots. A couple things that you need to be aware of when you're bottom fishing, in particular lingcod fishing, is electronics is of utmost importance, and, and we're so lucky to have our Simrad units uh, the detail they give us in finding locations and it, it's extremely important that you got to be right on the spot once you start drifting away you know you're kind of like a needle in a haystack so good electronics finding rock pinnacles a lot of times you can see some bait kind of welling up around these rock pinnacles and you know usually as soon as you you get to a spot and, and you put your lines down if the fish are there because they are so aggressive there's a really good chance you'll get a take <laughs> here we are January 2nd, <laughs> 2021. Like it, it was 28 degrees here yesterday. It really was. Believe us. We're not joking. It's true. We got a power paddle on one side. We got a piece of herring on the other side. I mean, the weather is, it's not awesome right now. We got, yeah, it's just lots of chop and a bit of wind here. But, yeah, you know, I, I love jigging for lingcod, man. It's just having that rod in your hand and getting that bite is, is a pretty cool feeling. So hopefully we can make it happen pretty quick here. Lingcod is uh, probably one of the best uh, tasting fish that we have on the coast here. Um, very plentiful. It's, um, yeah, like Mo said, it's fun. You get to feel the bite, it's exciting. Some good size and Fishing this deep out here uh, off the west coast, you never know what you're gonna get. We just went back on our second drift here and hooked up right away. I think I got a lingcod here. It's a pretty good take. That's the thing I like about jigging these things is the take is awesome. Just electric in your hands. That's a keeper. <laughs> nice lingcod. Nicely done. 12 pounds or something. From fish tacos. The weather didn't quite settle down the way we anticipated it to. We got poured on, you know, we were back trolling into waves, we were getting swamped by water, and, and, and in the moment you're like, you know, what am I doing? I'm, I'm absolutely crazy being out here. But when you enjoy the process and you start to catch fish and that excitement's contagious between everybody on the boat, it definitely makes the whole experience worthwhile. Don't know exactly what it is yet, but what a good bite. Good bite. Pop the clip here. We had a good bite uh, 20 minutes ago and I lost that fish. It was screaming line, so hopefully we can get this one to cooperate. I'm gonna have to slow down a touch. I'm thinking this is a ling cod. That's what I would think, but I don't know. Is it doing anything? No, not now. He took a big run initially. He's coming up here to the surface. It's on that magic now. hoochie again, eh? Yes. That thing's been pretty hot today. The glow hoochie, absolutely. Oh, Link yeah. cod. Nice ling. Yeah, it's definitely see, a keeper. See him now. There 
here's one, buddy. That's a nice ling. Nice ling, that's what we've been looking for today. Yeah, that's a beauty. I think I might have lost that guy here. Look at this. Hi. <laughs> Gonna take that out without even trying. Look at that. Just that is a targeted species right there. Goes to show you how, how why it's so important to keep attention on that line. I mean, you took that hook out like that. <laughs> yeah. Hey. And you look at the teeth on that thing. That's a beauty. Good fish, buddy. Nice Nicely. work. Thanks, dude. Nice gaff job. Thank you. There you go. It's day two and the weather is laid down. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to head offshore and anchor for halibut. Lance knows of a couple good spots offshore here that are perfect for anchoring. So that's what we're going to do. It's a very effective way to attract fish uh, to your boat. And it's also a very safe way to fish for halibut with the anchoring system, you know, not using your main anchor line. In case something happens where, you know, weather blows up and, and you do get hung up on the bottom or snagged, with the anchoring system, it's just a quick release, one pull, and your boat is free from the anchor, and there's no issues at all. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head offshore, use the anchor, and we're gonna wait patiently for a fish to bite. Oh, what you got there, Mom? Well, the trick is when you're halibut fishing on a nice day, is you gotta eat, and that will entice the fish to eat. <laughs> so let's do up a little barbecue here. Sounds fantastic. You know, like when you're in the mix with boats and you got a guy out there with his barbecue and he's cooking something and you're downwind of that guy. I might know, <laughs> I might know a guy. <laughs> there we go. We're in seven to 10 minutes and we are eating. Oh yeah. Well, I got a question for you, Mo. Yes. Since we've been up since 5 a.m., is a 9 a.m. smoky considered breakfast or is it considered lunch? Deep thoughts, buddy. Yeah, deep, deep thoughts, thoughts. <laughs> that's a good question. It's almost like an in-between... Uh, brunch, can we call it brunch? Lunch and dinner, like a liner. <laughs> liner, nice. <laughs> hey? yeah. yeah, yeah. Brunch works. Well, I figure maybe if the bite's on in the boat, maybe the bite will be on under the boat. Yes, that usually uh, is the way it works. How is it, bud? Is it warm? It's fantastic. The bite's on in the boat. The bite is on in the boat. <clears throat> oh. Not bad, eh? Fresh Vancouver Island blacktail. That's jalapeno, right. Jalapeno, jalapeno cheddar. Wow. Tasty. We got him, yeah. Didn't take too long. We actually... Just had to slide over a little slid bit. Slid over a little bit, but, you know, that's the thing when... You put in some time and the things aren't happening, don't be afraid to pick up and move. And we did that here. You got it right over there. It's like a good one. And we got I'm, I'm guessing quick. at least a 40 pounder here. It's by feels the looks pretty of it. good. You had a great take. Awesome. They're such a strong fish, these things, you know? It's sure nice on these Shimano rods. Well, look I mean, at the you action. Can, you can see the action on it. Rods bent right over. Yeah. The bite was actually, you know, very pronounced. Real, real good take. And these are the Travala jigging rods. 30 to 80 pound. You can get them heavier, but I, I enjoy them. I mean, they got a lot of backbone, but look at that rod. Yeah, that's oh, uh, it's a good fish. This is going to be a good one. It's a good fish. Like, it's an over, isn't it? gonna be close. Sometimes when you're howley fishing, you gotta put in a bit of time. Sometimes it happens right away, like we moved to this spot and it was bang on, like right away. But we did spend a couple hours just, you know, not far from here and we missed one. But uh, this is this is what you wait for, this right here, man. So this is the maximum size of a halibut that you can keep out here is, uh, 126 centimeters, which is that big, which is about a 50, you know, depending on how fat the fish is, uh, how thick the fish is, probably around a f between a 50 and 60 pounder. So um, I'm thinking Mo is uh, tangled with something uh, probably quite similar to that. Yeah. So we're gonna have to get out, get him up here and uh, measure him and make a call, see if he's uh, if he's a keeper or not. He's had a couple good runs here, but we got him moving right now. That's the key with these fish. If you can, you got to try and keep them moving. If you're resting, the fish is resting. Oh, geez, nice couple big head shakes from this fish. This one's a good one. I think he's a nice one. Yeah. 
They're all nice fish. They're all nice for sure. Some are just bigger than others. There he is, that's a nice fish. Oh, he's a perfect size halibut, dude. I think he's, he's, he's good. He's legal for sure he is. That's a good fish. Woo! What a fish, dude. Oh man, like 120, 125 and three quarters or something gets no closer than that. I mean, he's I bang would, on. I would say this fish is probably close to uh, 55 pounds, something like that. Great bite, I can tell he's a nice fish. We talked about him coming up, we're like, man, he's gonna be close. Yeah. I mean, essentially bang on, 125 and three quarters. Yeah. Uh, awesome uh, gaff job, man. I know it's not always easy. You like the harpoon. I don't have a harpoon <laughs> on board. Normally I gaff them, you perfect job. Yeah, it was, uh, I don't know. It's nice when the conditions are like this as well. You can see how nice it is out here. We're 10 miles offshore, it's flat, calm. Like, couldn't be better conditions, so everything came together perfectly. Awesome fish. Awesome. Well, let's get that rod back in. Sounds good. See if we can find one more. Awesome. He just woke up. There we go. That boy. Hooked another one here. Nicely done. He just woke up. You see that big head shakes pulling line. The kind of a. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Couldn't tell it for a day on that bite. I'll switch your sides. I missed him. That just go? Yeah. That was a rod peeling line? Yeah, that was a rod peeling line. No. Come back. You think you got that bait, Lance, or leave it? Uh, leave it for a second, because there's still a skirt on there. He might come He's back. There. He's on there. I can release it. Yeah, yeah that's fine. You can release it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. He's on there, Mo. I bet he's still on there. Really? This one's pulling hard. Oh, yeah. You get him? No. Nope. This one's definitely on here. How you doing, Lance? Good, good. This is a lot like work. I'm so used to handing the rods <laughs> off. I'm not used to reeling them in myself. Well, I couldn't chat with you because my rods started peeling um, line. We're sitting here fishing. All of a sudden, we hear that the drag on the other side start peeling line. Look over. I had three eyes in the water. And I missed them, though, so. Oh, no, we would have had to let that one yeah, go anyways, because this, um, this one might be our second one. We're allowed one each per day. Yeah. And it feels like a good fish, eh? It's it's another good fish. I don't think it's quite as big as the last one, but... Oh, he's back over here. <laughs> Must have a lot him. I can see him coming off the... Look at the line coming off the bottom How here. far do I got to go? 80 more feet. Yeah. <laughs> You're halfway, bud. Halfway home. <laughs> <laughs> Need to have a break here. There might be a dogfish or something on that one or something. Hey, I don't know. I'll, I'll wait till you get yours up and then deal with this after, but it could be. Oh, oh another real geez. nice one. Oh, yeah, he's good. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> it's like... Two fish, like right at the keepable size. You couldn't ask for much more. Just unbelievable. Oh, man. Well, we put our time in uh, earlier. We made a move and it paid off, man. After we got a hot tip from our buddy Lockie, Lance and I managed to get into two absolutely magnificent halibut. Both of them right under the 126 centimeter regulation mark. It was crazy, like back to back. Catching those two beautiful halibut was the perfect way to end our day bottom fishing. We still had a bit of time left, so Lance and I looked at each other and figured we might as well stop on the way in and see if we can catch a Chinook. The last couple days on the water just reinforces and makes me realize how much I appreciate our Mercury engines. We put our engines through several tests in varied conditions, and they always perform outstanding. The responsiveness, fuel efficiency, the noise level, all of it truly enhances the experience. How's that, bud? That's a good fish. That's a good fish, eh? Yeah. We're trying to have a nice gourmet lunch here, but fish keep interrupting them all. We're, we're trying to get into these elk smokies, and we don't want them to burn here. <laughs> they maybe have an extra, extra crispy layer on them, but... It's OK. Oh, how, how about the evening right now? Look at, yeah, this it's is like, uh, Well, look at this fish is up on the top here already. Weird. Out a couple hundred feet here. Well, I know what's next. He comes at me and then he turns around and decides to go south and goes, again. And goes straight down. 
nice. What do you there want me to do with my uh, nice head shakes, eh? Oh, I can see them. They're beauty. Nice teenager. Oh, that's awesome, <laughs> dude. In the sunlight like that? Oh, just thrashing around. Beauty, bud. Got a look at him here. He's a nice fish. He's thick shoulders on him. He's hot. Oh, saw, saw me leaning over and did not like Looking that. Look him right in the eyes, eh? Did not like that one bit. Oh, he just he just popped right out. Perfect. Right on. Ready? Nice job, bud. What a fight, That's eh? Another one. What a fight. Yeah, they're uh, spunky fish, that's they're, for sure. They're hot, hot, hot fish. Yeah, look at that. Nice fish right there. Uh, you know what that is, eh? <laughs> Big, smiley. Ooh. Here, let me, uh, slide her up. Let me slide her forward or back? Whatever's easiest for you. This is a strong fish, dude. He's just, he, he has no business stopping this guy. Crank my drag a little bit, but. Oh, you're just milking it. It's probably an eight pounder. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, look at this thing go. I'll just back off for you a little bit here. Dude, that's a nice fish. Oh my God. So if we get the salmon. Dude, I'm going to be my backing in a minute. If we get the salmon, Brennan, what did you call it? The Tofino what? The Tofino trifecta. Trifecta. Don't jinx it, it's not in yet. Jeez Louise, this strong fish though, holy cow. That was like an epic run, man. But well, we've had a pretty uh, amazing couple days here. Okay, weather yeah. wasn't, uh, wasn't overly cooperative yesterday. But today, look at this, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, we were definitely uh, faced some adversity yesterday with the weather, um, doing the bottom fish program there. But, uh, managed to get it done and today we've been blessed with awesome weather and I mean the fishing has been you know we had to work our for our halibut here today but uh, salmon fishing I think he had that set up down for maybe three minutes and we got a nice one on here so yeah, we just switched programs and I mean this is this was immediately like right away that right fish away got, that fish got a couple hundred feet of line out he still does he, he went on one of the biggest runs I've seen on the salmon nice so Lance, you've been operating here at the Tofino for what, 15, 20 years now? 18 years, 18 this is my 18th years. season. We're pretty blessed to have such a uh, diverse fishery here in Tofino. Um, you know, run a couple miles, you're fishing one species, run a couple miles the other direction, you're in a totally different uh, space and, and fishing something totally different. So we're, we're definitely blessed. And we, uh, we basically became friends the first day I came to Tofino. Yeah, I actually helped you move into your house. <laughs> That's exactly. how we became friends. <laughs> exactly. And then, uh, yeah, the rest is history. You were still uh, playing hockey at the time, which was cool. Got to see you, see you in action, and now you get to see me in action. See you in action, learning some tricks of the trade. A real nice one. Not a tie, but nice fish. It's a beauty fish. Big fish, dude. Oh, there he is. Nice fish. Yeah. Nice fish, Mo. Nicely played. Beautiful sir. fish. That's yeah. link cod, halibut, now salmon. We'll call that the Tofino trifecta, bud. I like it. I like it. And that took us about five minutes since we switched programs. Great natural. This was an awesome fight, this fish, man. Yeah, we really pulled incredible. a lot of line. Yeah. These fish, I mean, pound for pound, they don't get a lot of credit, but these are incredible fish. They're like little bullets in the water. They're just strong. They pull real hard. Thick tail. And Good you can look. see this fish uh, got a little mark, a mark on the side there from something. I'm not quite sure what, but uh, super healthy and it'll be good on the dinner table. Beautiful fish. Yes. Well, let's get them back in here and see if we can uh, nab another one. Awesome. Okay, buddy. Great job. That's pretty epic. Couple days fishing, dude. Thanks, buddy. Hey, that was uh, something special. Those two nice halibut pulling here. A couple of beautiful salmon, some ling cod yesterday. My pleasure. We did it all here in Tofino. Yeah, no, it's uh, true West Coast living here, man, for sure. We're uh, we're pretty lucky to have this in our backyard. Hopefully, I come back and visit us again. I'll be here. Uh, I'll be here often. Awesome, often. buddy. Yeah. For the Tofino trifecta. Trifecta. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. <laughs>
It always amazes me, after fishing in Tofino for close to 20 years, that no two days on the water are the same. The lingcod fishing, phenomenal back-to-back -back halibut, and to top it off with some amazing salmon fishing on our way home was the perfect ending to our trip. I want to thank my good buddy Lance from Lance's Sport Fishing Adventures for an amazing couple days in the water. Lance and I both have such an affinity for the Tofino area and all that it has to offer when it comes to fishing. Being on the boat with him is a lot of fun. He's extremely passionate, he's extremely knowledgeable, and we always have a great time together. Trips like this create lifelong memories and makes me realize how special the West Coast really is.